bugs. Snow. Wildlife. Darkness. Worth the dairy ice cream. <laughs> there are so many things that made me want to live here in the Kawartha Lakes, but there are a few things I wish I had fully embraced and understood before we actually moved here, Dean. Okay, such as? Number one, wildlife. Okay. Are we talking parties on the weekend, Jenny? No, oh, that too, maybe. Okay. Growing up a city girl, I didn't think that I would be the kind of person who would stop to rescue a turtle or to watch a family of geese cross the road or stop so that I could see a deer and her babies. Wild turkeys. Wild turkeys. I mean... Loons. There are more than just cows in the Corthus. What about the ospreys? Oh, them too, yes. Herons. I knew when I planted my garden, I'd be fighting the kids off for the, the produce, but I didn't think that I'd be fighting off rabbits and chipmunks as well. Right. And your bird feeder is attracting more than just birds. Yes, it is. We get ducks, we get- Oh, they're a bird. They're a waterfowl. Ah, right. It's not just blue jays and- Chickadees. Chickadees that are coming to, to feed at Dean's Theater. We are getting uh, ducks, geese, um, even a blue heron. Even a blue heron. That was a sight to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wildlife is certainly a big part of our life in the Fourth Lakes. That's right. A big thing for me, anyway. I don't think it was as big for you, Dean. Okay. It gets dark here. Yes, it does. I know it gets dark everywhere. Night is night. But we live in the forest. There are no street lights nope. here. Nope. It's perfect for stargazing. Yes. But when you've got to walk the dog at 11 o'clock at night, you need your flashlight and you better have batteries. Everyone leaves in September, Jenny. They do, they do. You think moving to the Kawarthas, moving to a cottage country community means uh, friends popping in all the time, sharing a drink on the dock, uh, hors d'oeuvres and happy hour. And that's all great in the summertime. But after Labor Day,